Hello and welcome to Blockchain Game Review. My name is Claudio and this is Cryptoschain, the channel where I do cryptocurrency news reviews, demos, interviews and blockchain game reviews. And in today's game review we're going to be looking at a game powered by Engine called Space Misfits and it's an action game and it's all about space kind of similar to Dissolution. And we're going to be looking through their website, checking out some of the trailers, checking out some of the information that is available to us. Uh, on spacemisfits.com which can be found in the description of the video again this is not a sponsored video i'm simply doing this because i like to cover blockchain game reviews from time to time on this channel and i also want to give a shout out to egamers.io who actually have a, a website dedicated to blockchain gaming so we can see here uh, that they've got crypto gaming news mobile gaming news pc gaming news interviews blockchain platform information here like eos games engine games neo games tron steam uh, decentralized games so basically all these different blockchains out there that have games integrated in them in some way uh, shape or form now not entirely but some of them are entirely some of them are partially uh, mostly the in-game items so do check out this website here again it's going to be in the description a uh, pretty cool website and I am actually part of their telegram group so they're very active on there lots of gamers on there uh, the community is growing I've been on there for quite some time so do check them out if you're a gamer of course or maybe if you're just interested in games and want to find out more so let's not waste any time and have a look at space misfits to see what it's about now it starts off here with not your grandma's space game right they're trying to make a joke obviously uh, I hope nobody's going to get offended with this if they see it, but Space Misfits is a 3D low poly space sandbox multiplayer online uh, game and we have partnered with Engine to allow our players to hunt, collect and mine for items and resources with real world cryptocurrency, value empowering our players with true game item ownership. Become a space pirate, a trader or miner, your space sandbox awaits you. So actually when I first heard about this game was uh, when I was checking out some uh, uh, project updates from Engine, looking through their Twitter page and then I saw this, I thought it was uh, some kind of joke or something, I didn't even know it's a real game that's out there so it turned out to be right that one person who goes by the name of Samborg or Shamborg, I'm not even sure how it's pronounced, he's part of my community, the Cryptos Chain community on Telegram and also watches a lot of the YouTube videos, especially the gaming ones, he really likes those he's told me about this game so I thought I'm gonna cover it of course because as you know I like to cover blockchain games but uh, yeah basically um, there's some gameplay information here we can see that if we look at watch gameplay and here we go we can actually see it here but it's not loading for some reason I'm not entirely sure what's going on with the website uh, it's not functioning as well as I was expecting it to be honest maybe it's lagging i'm not sure it should have started the video to be honest but i think if we click on watch gameplay here it's going to trigger that but uh let's have a look here so they they had the alpha testing and season one release uh, where if you purchase at least 25 dollars in the store and get your alpha token and a private invite to the alpha testing group where we can give the day-to-day -day updates on development answer to your questions and again there's the shop there uh, what else do they have here? So about the game, it's the intense PvP battles, the planet outpost, the unique gameplay and the stations. So I had a look here, basically it's mostly PvP, okay, so player versus player and also uh, player versus enemy, right? Player versus enemy, um, of course it's an MMO, okay, so you can actually grow, uh, you play with other people as well. So Space Misfits is the first and foremost an arcade style dogfight in space game. With AAA flight mechanics and controls, you will experience a fast-paced, high-adrenaline flight experience. So again, fair play to Engine because they've got that uh, software development toolkit with Unity. So a lot of uh, game developers can actually develop with that software development toolkit using the Unity engine to have great graphic games like this. And uh, this is the cool thing about it, right? Because uh, we're seeing more of these type of games. But the problem is that we're not seeing any major players from the gaming space creating games uh, for the blockchain space, like for example with Unity's SDK. So I wonder if we're going to see more of that in the near future and at some point, hopefully now that we've got the engine marketplace uh, too. So 
again powered by by engine blockchain no longer will you have the endless supply of useless items in a database that you never truly own so this is why i'm so bullish on blockchain games again uh, we have partnered with engine to allow our players to create a true ownership in their items in game and to be able to sell trade or melt their in-game assets for real cryptocurrency so you obviously have some value to those items that you got especially the rare ones and again if you grind a lot in these sort of games you get rare items of course like in any other game with the exception that you can actually get some real value out of it right you're not just wasting your time uh, or you may say you're not wasting your time because you like the game but sometimes it's considered a waste of time if you like the game you play you get some rare item finally after so long and then um, you lose value of that item right or you don't have a real uh, a real life value of the item well with this you do have it right thanks to engine now let's look at the planet outpost here so you can land on planets and explore each planet contains a planet outpost where planet owners will harvest fuel and ship through the universe so this is how the planet outpost looks like pretty cool here all foggy and stuff right looks pretty dark here uh, unique gameplay so whether you want to fight npc players and collect loot or battle other players in the arena space misfits provides a wide range of gameplay for you to enjoy so there are different options here uh, and of course the station stations are controlled by station owners inside the game each station you can access the market ship building refueling and interact with other players so these are kind of like towns right in other traditional games obviously this is a space game so there are no real towns but they are these space stations where you can uh, talk to other people go to npcs maybe purchase some sort of items on there like basic items uh, you may say they're not non-fungible but they are fungible tokens like uh, maybe items that you consume all the time uh, that have no limits like for example health uh, drinks or things like that right? i'm not sure exactly in this game what sort of items you can get uh, but let's have a look at the shop here so we've got the space crowns um, okay so the space crown is five dollars uh, and what is the description so space misfits official erc20 tokens provides your ethereum address and will deliver your smc within 24 hours okay so this is if you want to buy an item from their shop here let's go to the blueprints they've got quite a lot of blueprints here and blueprints are like skins right now the nvl 50 dollars beefcake x2 30 of them for 120 dollars 47 behemoth for 300 dollars so quite a lot here right i'm not sure what the use case is again i haven't actually played the game it is only a, a game review but not like a gameplay review but more of a website game review so as you know uh, this is the sort of reviews that i do for blockchain games uh, now of course there are some exceptions to some games which i have personally played like for example hyper dragons go which i have personally played hyper snakes which i have personally played and then in that case i would do the actual demo of the game but these are just reviews of the website uh, launchers as well let's have a look at the launchers here so heavy missile launchers mki 25 dollars 46 available items so when they say 29 available items or 46 available what i'm assuming here is that this is how many you can get so they are quite limited in the sense right it's 25 dollars but it's not like you get 46 them right this is how many you can buy in the shop uh, obviously if you add this to your cart then it deducts it so there'll be 45 left and so on so pretty good that they're limited um, and i guess this is really the reason why they want to make them limited because otherwise people get a bit annoyed with the fact that everybody has this sort of skin and it may lose value whereas in this case because they're limited we do expect the value to grow uh, if the game is adopted because there are just so many games out there and more and more are starting to be built i'm seeing this like a lot and not only with engine but i'm seeing this with other blockchains as well like lots of these mini games starting up i'm even personally thinking to maybe build up like a small team of people of some people that i know just to start up a mini game and uh, and basically to promote it on this channel so you can test it out yourself and think of some ways to uh, give free stuff out and things like that so i may have to look into that myself uh, and maybe something powered by engine too or maybe by phantasma who knows uh, i'll have to decide it because uh, i'm finding this interesting i mean it's still a young space if you think about it blockchain gaming and i know many gamers don't even know what blockchain games are uh, so let's have a look here there's the white paper if you're interested in checking it out of course the cart and so on and let's have a look let's go back to the home page there because i saw a few more things that i wanted to look at 
Okay. Right, so there's the storyline here. So this is a sandbox. Instead of creating a linear story, we decided to kick the novel kick the novel in the trash can. To be honest, we at Space Misfits don't care too much about storylines. Why? Because our players will create enough drama in the space. Corporate greed, space pirates taking down valuable loads or players pawning each other are more than enough for a great story. You tell us the story, you tell the story, not us. And you can start a story. So that's a bit interesting, right? It's a different kind of concept because normally a lot of the games out there have a story behind them. So you're basically taking part in that story, you're trying to get to this specific goal uh, and you may argue that of course some of them have updates so even though you reach that goal, that goal never really ends until the game development ends because there's constant side stories and maybe even continuation main stories and so on like quests and things like that right with World of Warcraft for example that, that, that's a pretty good example of continuation stories whereas here they don't really have a story you're just really playing uh, and this is pretty much how it is. So I don't know, what do you think? I mean, is this a con to you, like, personally? Um, in my opinion, it doesn't really matter as long as the game is playable and it's good and it's attractive, then it doesn't really matter because, like I said, I, I like mini games. Some of them are really addictive, like, for example, a shooting game, which could be like a mini game. And maybe if you get to a specific level and try to beat this high score of somebody else and then share it on Telegram and things like that. You know, these sort of addictive games, this is the sort of stuff I'm looking at creating personally and I, I would like to create. Again, I'm not a game developer, I'm a database developer, but uh, I would personally like to start this kind of game, right? And here we can see the avatars. Uh, so Melo, who's $20 and there's zero of them left. Uh, Australia, who's $60, 38 of them left. $8, 381 of them left, Dr. Xenon and so on so these are like the avatars that you get the people that you start off with uh, blueprints again these are the stuff that we spoke about earlier ordnance again heavy missile and so on so you can sign in and start playing the game here's the gallery this is how it looks here we can see some of the photos of the game this is probably from the space station okay this is outside in the space outside of a planet and this is when you're battling with the skins and so on. So the graphics are pretty cool. Again, it just shows you with uh, engine software development toolkit. It's pretty cool using the Unity game engine. And let's have a look at a movie actually. Oh, there we go. So there's a trailer here. Okay, so this is how you start with your character. You've got a pet as well. This is pretty cool. It's kind of following the typical MMOs. Let's flick through it here. So this is on some planet. Okay, so not not the whole gameplay is in space apparently. There's some of it is on planets. And here's when you're fighting some sort of ship. Okay, okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. Looks good, looks good. And again, you can contact them as well. They've got a Twitter page, they've got a Facebook page, LinkedIn and Instagram, but there's no Telegram page. I'm a bit surprised at that. Maybe there is a Telegram page, who knows. Uh, if you know of a Telegram page for these guys, please let me know. Drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think of this game, but that's pretty much it from today's review. Uh, nothing else to add. Thank you very, very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Have a lovely, lovely day. Bye-bye.